You restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. Oh, God. Jesus. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Oh, it's your blood in our love. Yes. Oh, we pour out our Yes. We pour out our praise and yes. your breath. It's your breath. In our love. In our love. We pour out our yeah. We pour out our praise. Oh, <laughs> so when we pour out our praise, we pour out our Don't praise, yes. yeah. it, 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 in our love, 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Bring life to you. Yes, Hallelujah. Your 
Lord, you I <laughs> Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. For great is the Lord. Great, great. He is to be feared above all gods. First Chronicles 29, 11. Yours, O oh Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. Indeed, everything that is in heavens and the earth, yours is the dominion, O oh Lord. And you exalt yourself as head over all. Nehemiah 1 and 5. I said, I beseech you, O Lord, God of heaven, the great, awesome, and the great and awesome God who preserves the covenant and loving kindness for those who love him and keep his commandments. Isaiah 12 and 6. Cry aloud and shout for joy, O inhabitant of Zion, for great in your midst, is the Holy One of Israel. Ezekiel 36 and 23. I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Lord God, when I prove myself holy among you in their sight. Joshua 7, 9. For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land will hear of it and they will surround us and cut off our name from the earth. And what will you do for your great name? First Samuel 12 and 22. For the Lord will not abandon his people on account of his great name because the Lord has been pleased to make you a people for himself. Hallelujah. 
First Kings 842. For they will hear of your great name and your mighty hand and of your outstretched arm when he comes and prays toward this house. Second Chronicles 632. Also concerning the foreigner who is not from your people, Israel, when he comes from a far country for your great name's sake and your mighty hand and your outstretched arm when they come and pray toward this house. Psalms 47 two, For the Lord most high is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. Psalms 47, 7. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises like a skillful song. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with a skillful song. Psalms 48, 2. Beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion and the far north, the city of the great king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great, great, great are you, Lord. Harabasi Yarabaha. Matthew 5.35. Or the earth, for it is the footstool of his feet. Or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Hallelujah. First Timothy 6.15. Which he will bring about at the proper time. He who is blessed and only sovereign, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. To him who alone does great wonders, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all the heavens are higher than the earth. So are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Hallelujah. Great in counsel and mighty indeed, whose eyes are open to all the ways of the sons of men, giving to everyone according to his ways and according to the fruit of his deeds. Hallelujah. For the mighty one who has done great things for me and hallelujah, his holy name. Now unto him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond and all that we can ask or think according to the power that works within us. Hallelujah. Yet they are your people, even your inheritance, whom you have brought out by your great power and your outstretched arm. And in the greatness of your excellence, you overthrow all those who rise up against you. Hallelujah. You send forth your burning anger and consume them as chafe. I pray to the Lord and I said, O Lord, do not destroy your people, even your inheritance, whom you have redeemed through your greatness, whom you have brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these stars. The one who leads them forth, their host by number. He calls them all by name because of his greatness, of his might, and the strength of his power. Not one of them is missing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and by your outstretched arm. Nothing is too difficult for you. Hallelujah. 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 Nothing is too difficult for you, O God. How great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. For your loving kindness is great above the heavens and your truth reaches the skies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you for your greatness. Thank you, God. You're so rich in mercy. Oh, my God, because of your great love, which you have loved us, oh, God. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. 
So we pour out our love. We open our hearts. We lift ourselves in worship and honor and adoration of your name. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's your grace. It's by your grace. That we are not consumed. It's your grace. It's your grace. It's your love. You so by your love. So that we are not consumed. Oh God, you are a keeper. Isa, you kept us very well. Isa la boko Thank you, Osamasi, oh, for another day. Hola, oh, Masa. Thank you for breath this morning, oh God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for breath this morning, God. Thank you that you woke us up this morning. Yes. With our minds on you. Hallelujah. With our thoughts towards you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You woke us up, oh God. And you breathe breath. It's our very being and to the essence of who we are and to who you are, oh God. You call us by your name. We are your people. And we exalt you and your greatness, oh God. Your greatness, oh God. It's your greatness, oh God. You are, you are, you are, hallelujah. You have been so kind to us, God. And oh God, as we see a host of needs, oh God. Even before the requests are brought forth to us, oh God, you've already seen it all. You are so mindful toward us, oh God. So God, we come with an attitude, oh God, of humility, lifting up our hearts and our voices to you, God, in prayer and worship to you, God. Hallelujah. Mm. So many requests before the Lord, and and these are the ones that we know of. But we know that God is pouring out His love upon humanity all around the world. What we know locally, what we have our our limited awareness of. This is but a drop of water in a big ocean. There's so many needs, and so many requests before the Lord. But thank the Lord for his mercy and his grace that we're able to bring our requests before him. But I pray that the Lord will open us up and take us in the invisible and use us as intercessors for praying for things that we know not but they will be Watchmen on the wall, Iko la basia la boko la baia. Yo soko la masia la mo soko la ma. Ya la ma sa la mo ko la masia la boko la baia. But God he knows. He saw la bo soko la basata ya. He saw la basi. O la masia la ma soto la baia. So let's do this this morning. We're going to pray for all the requests that we see on uh, on our sound prayer room wall. We're going to pray for those. But let us go into the invisible. 
and pray in the spirit. Let God use us as intercessors. Use so called our Satan in the name of Jesus. He so called our mercy. You told our mercy, Araba Koraba. You told our mercy, Araba. If you're full of the spirit, Lord, I'm asking that you take the phones out of you and bring it to the Holy Ghost. Not even with your natural time, but bring it and do what he wants to do with them this morning. <laughs> Oh, 
the privilege of prayer, oh God. Oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're above everything, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes. And oh Lord, oh God, I pray, oh God, Basata, for your spirit, oh God, to rest upon us in a mighty way. I pray for insight and understanding, O God. To hear your voice, O God. To direct us in all matters, God. In everything, O God. That you would have us, O God, to do. Thank you for your mercy and your grace, oh God. You can take, oh God, the little that we have and you can make it into much, oh God. You can take this hour of prayer and you can do wonderful things through it, oh God. So we lift our voices in faith with our host of other intercessors that you sent out, oh God. We link ourselves, oh God. Your will, oh God. That you would have your way, oh God. Not only in the lives of God, but in the lives of those that want to oh God. But you so love the world that you gave. Oh, da ba sa ta ta ta. Only be God's hand. You show go da ba sa ta ta. That whosoever would come to repentance and receive everlasting life, oh God. It is not your will that not one person be lost, oh God. So we give ourselves to you. We lift our voice and this body, God. This our heart, God. and you call us and have your way put in our God use it oh God Jesus, 
Let the Lord be upon the material God that's gathered together. Oh, she got that, that. The physical material, the emotional material, oh, the material of our hearts, oh God. As you construct our lives, as you construct your plans, let your anointing, O God, let the breath of God be upon the material, O God. We are going to In the name of your breath, oh God, 
Oh, God, we thank her this morning. Oh God, you see her, she's your servant, oh God. You called her by name from birth, oh God. Yes. And we know, oh God, that there's many plans that a man could have in his heart, oh God. But it's your will, oh God, that went down over them all. Yes. Isokola <laughs> how he used to run into the house of the Lord. See the different parts of his body, oh God. I pray healing virtue. I pray comfort. I pray upon them, oh God. Oh, let him fret not, oh God, but keep his heart and his mind at peace. I pray over Brother Ricard this morning on our mighty. I pray, oh God, a spirit of encouragement will be on him, oh God. 
freedom, oh God, in the freedom. Days, oh God, that he would face out of my own. God, I'm also not my Hallelujah. Oh, God. Oh, God. COVID is not too hard for I don't care what variant it is. You are the Lord God that heals us. It's by your stripes that we are healed. I pray that this young lady, your God, I pray salvation above everything. I pray salvation in the presence of the family. Oh God, 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 even more. You over her Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Oh God, and minister to her heart, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. He's so cold on my side. And our eyes, oh God, is so much for one person to go through, oh God. We know the thoughts and plans and the intents that you have toward her, oh God. So we lift her up to you. We have the girl, oh God. Would you help her, God, and guide and lead her according to your plan and the design, the purposes that you have for her life, God. So that I must see. Thank you, God. Your soul, I We thank you, oh God. Oh, that my God. For Sister being able to breathe again. Isoko Masi Alamo Soko da. Thank you for the prayer saints, oh God, that have been interceding and praying for her, oh God, lifting our voices to heaven on her behalf, oh God, and she's feeling it, God. She's able to breathe, oh, they call Alamo Soko Masi Alamo She's able to see her presence, oh, no. We thank you for our sister, oh God. Thank you for her declaring your goodness. Thank you for her declaring, oh God, your love and your ability to keep her God. There is none that can pluck us out of your hands, oh God, you Thank you. Lord, we lift up Lawrence right. He has cancer, God. I don't know him. God, you know him. I pray, oh God, that he knows you. Hallelujah. And that he's accepted you as his Lord and Savior. Because, oh God, if he has you, he has everything. So I pray something. Oh God. 
Don't let him just get better, God. Don't let him know that it's you that's done it. Oh, God. Get out. Get out. You must be a son of a son. He's a kid of a son of a son. Let him know that you no. are a provider, God. You know, you know, most so called Abba Baba Haya. You know, most so called Abba, you are the Lord, the one that provides for him. All things come from you, oh God. Let Lawrence know you. Let him know you. Let him know you to see how I'm so called Abba Haya in every God. detail that he's facing, oh God. This is only what we know, but you know the whole. Mm -hmm. You know the plan that you have for him. You too, God. You call Baba Baba Satan. I pray for. He's surrounded by so much loss, oh God. I pray that his heart will be attentive, oh God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Words and your plans that you have for his life. I pray. During yes. this time, oh God, that you would cause them to walk circumspectly, God. To trace your hand, your hand of hope, oh God. That when he looks upon all the suffering, God, he will not be there, but you will make plain the plan that you have for his life, oh God. During this time of loss and suffering, God, that you will be exalted in these life, oh God. That there will be hope in his heart, oh God. Oh God, set him aside for your plan and your purposes. We undergird this morning, oh God. In his life. Oh no. Let none of this be lost. Let none of it be lost, oh God. So let him gleam everything that you have planned for his life from the beginning to the end, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We pray for that young man right now, God, in the name of Jesus. And oh God, you love us for those, oh God, involved in the situation. Hallelujah, that you would comfort, comfort the auntie, Lord. That you would wrap her in your arms, oh God, and you would hold her, God. That you would sing songs of deliverance over her, God, in the invisible, mm -hmm. and she will feel it in the natural. That she'll be strengthened in her, that she too will be able to say, I can breathe, I can breathe, I can breathe. <laughs> Oh God, we know that you're not a respecter of persons, God, but you are a respecter of covenants, God. I pray for this young lady, God, this auntie, God, that she will be in covenant with you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And if she doesn't know you, oh God, that you would draw her, oh God, with your love and kindness. According to your word, oh God. Surround her, oh God, with those, oh God, that know you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, I lift this to you, God. Lord, she's sick in her body, God. Her oxygen levels are low. But you are God, and you're never out of control. 
So I lift her up to you, God. I plead mm. the blood of Jesus over her. Oh, yes. I pray the peace of God will be upon her. In the name of Jesus, I pray that she'll be able to rest, oh God, in you. Let her rest, oh God. Cause her not to fret. Oh, she can Because her to stretch out, oh God, her life before you, God. He's so cold, I must her rest, oh God. He's so cold, I must I plead the blood of Jesus over her body, God. I pray that you would speak to her, God. I pray the breath of God over her, God. Surround her with your presence, oh God. I cause her to rest, oh God. The oxygen levels. Oh, you you are the breath of life, oh God. You're not my That's nothing for you, God. You saw that most so cold of us. You see the matter, God. You saw that most cold of us. Do it, oh God, according to your plan. According to your purpose, God. But I pray that you would strengthen her faith at this time, God. Let her not be weary and well doing, oh God. You so cold of us. Oh God. oh God, oh God, oh God, Lord, that you would encourage her, that you would supernaturally infuse her, oh God, with what she needs. Ah, Sister Wagner, God, another one that can't sleep. But you give rest to your saints, oh God. Yes, As she wakes up this morning, she has to do whatever she has to do today. Let her do it, oh God. And when she down tonight, that she'll be able to rest. Let her have a sweet sleep, oh God, of rest. Isha Masata, rest. Tiko Labasi, rest. Yadamo so, rest. Adamo so, Kodamasi. Alamo so, peace to her mind. Aka, Alaba, slow down the thought. Isha Masi, Aka, no Kodama, Nede Koda, Yadamasi. I know. Oh God, there's different things that happens in a woman's body that we could point to the natural and say it's because of this and that and hormones and all that. But God, that's nothing. That's nothing. Nothing's too hard for you, God. I pray rest over these ladies. I pray rest over these ladies. I pray rest over these ladies, God. In the name of Jesus. Okay. And even those who haven't been able to say it, but they haven't been resting, I pray rest upon your saints, oh God, that they can lay down and sleep, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for Thank rest. You, Thank you for peace. Thank you, Thank you for peace. Thank you for peace. Sister Cantu's grandson, God. Mm. having fever I I know the Lord that heals us so we lift our voices in prayer and yes. faith saying God have your way over this baby oh, and, happy way. which breaks the fever get to the root of it oh God a fever is an indicator of something going on on the inside get to the heart of the matter God and go to the heart Lord from the inner the outer I speak healing in the over body I pray over the children 
in my home, oh God. I yes, pray God. healing yes, over God. them, God. Nothing yes, too hard for you, God. Isha la boko da basata. A la boko da basata ta ta. William and Christian oh, yes. and Jeopardy, God. Isala, Isala, la, la. Let healing virtue flow through our home, oh God. Let health and healing flow through our home, oh God. Isala, mokoda, basi. You see my husband's shoulder, God. Isa, you hear the report of the Lord. You hear the report of the doctor, but I hear the report of the Lord. Your report says that he is healed. Your report says that my children are healed. Your report says that healing is the children's bread. That's your report, oh Lord. I pray, oh God, for insight. I pray for insight concerning my husband's body. Oh, the devil is a liar. Jesus. And every time that his legs begin to the body, let him fall down and be nothing. Oh, Lord. Bind up everything yeah, that I like. Bind up every pain. All in the name of Jesus. Every ache. Oh God, but oh, breathe on him, Lord. He shall tell you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Silence every voice, oh God. It will rise against your people, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. He has died in my house, oh God. Every household, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Sister Hernandez household, God. Sister Hernandez household, Sister Hernandez household, Sister I you're Oh God, release the spirit of encouragement, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Release the spirit of praise, oh God. Release the spirit of thanksgiving, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let there be praise in our lips, oh God. Oh Lord, that we will offer, oh God, sacrifice of thanksgiving, oh God. Glory to Jesus, oh God. Oh, in every situation, right. Lord, we are poor of us. Ladies, would you join me in uh, one more request? This is a personal request. Um, of course, everything's going on with the different uh, jobs that are on the table. But um, 
this morning I'm not I don't want to pray for that we've already prayed for it and it's on the shelf now and it's up to God the rest of it is up to him but here's the thing that concerns me my voice my voice has been like this since April and um, they're going to refer me to a specialist but here's the thing I can go and I can do all that but I, mm-hmm. I, I believe that God can supernaturally restore my, my uh, voice. Now, I don't know why it's like this, but it's been this way for quite some time. But I want my voice back. And mm-hmm. I would like for you to pray that the Lord would, even before the doctors can figure out, <laughs> God knows exactly why it's like this. And he can do it. He can do it. He's 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 the great position. Hallelujah. He is the position over all positions. <laughs> he's the chief of staff. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. So would you join me in prayer in this matter? I really want my voice back. There's some things that the Lord's talked to me about a long time ago, and I need my voice. So I, hallelujah. Really enjoy having my voice. <clears throat> if y'all yes. could pray this morning. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lord. You give us the to the way it was before, God. Hallelujah. In the name of God, that you meet her at her need, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take it where you wanted to go. 
Thank you, Jesus. All the things that we prayed about this morning, Lord. We know it's outside of us. We know it's outside of us. So we turn to say thank you for hearing our cry. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for hearing our cry. Thank you for taking us up, oh God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Put our prayers on the altar this morning, God. Take up our prayers from there and turn them and use them how you see fit, oh God. But we know that you hear us when we pray and we thank you for it, God. Oh, there's a. One more prayer request that just came up was praying. Her husband had COVID and um, she had it. Some of the kids had it. God knows the details, but we prayed for her. But now her mom was rushed to the uh, ER last night and she was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. So um, strength. She's taking, so the mom was taking care of the grandma. But now her mom, so now she's taking care of her grandma, her mom, and her husband, and her children. So this is a lot. Not a believer. She's not saved. She's a believer because she's asking for prayer. She believes in the power of God, but she doesn't know him as her personal savior. All right. Mom also needs salvation. I know that. And probably her grandma too. I know salvation... All these people in this one prayer request, they all need to know the Lord. They are not saved. Mm-hmm. So we're going to pray salvation. All this is her own strength. Mm-hmm. She needs the Lord, but she uh-huh. needs to know that it's only the Lord that can bring her through this time. Amen. A great pressure and responsibility. So mm-hmm. let's pray salvation yes. for their household. Oh, Mom, daughter. Husband and children. Hallelujah. That to her might look unbearable. But she, you got. She needs to know you as her Lord. Oh God, for salvation over salvation over grandma. God. You can even No matter what the doctor said, you are God alone. But I pray that you will you as God. Every false doctor, every false 
Keep them about according to your plan and your Thank name, you, Jesus. 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 Name. Oh, I thank you, God. I thank you, God. They will not reject your love. They will receive your goodness. Yes. They will receive your mercy. Yes. Yes. They will receive life, oh God. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Everlasting God. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray over that family. Yes, God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my God. And she gets on prayer, uh, on Bible study. She gets on the, the, the signs and wonders and Food of the Spirit class that we have, so she's she's becoming aware. She's she's coming into the understanding of um, it may not be all what she was taught when she was growing up, you know. But she's she's between decisions, yeah. and I just you know pray I, the heat is being turned up. <laughs> Either way it goes, the heat is being turned up for. And I I call her sister. It's, uh, we love her, and uh, we, but we're going to stand and believe God for her. Uh, what else are we good for? It's intercession, it's prayer, it's loving, it's reaching, it's stretching out and being vessels. Being a light to those that are in darkness. And we can't love them. Who will? He's so basic. So we yes. love him. and the Lord has attached us, attached her to us. And I just pray uh, against the confusion of everything she was taught and that the Lord will bring in truth. Hallelujah. Yes. Now she's not consistently on the line with us. So we don't have direct uh, insight into her life. Or so I'm, I'm saying all that to say, please. In your personal time, please remember Sister Maggie and her family. In Jesus' name, the Lord is drawing her. I believe that. Yes. I, I believe now um, that there's an opportunity for her mom to even come out of um, the false doctrine and false religion that she's in. And she you know Jesus as her Lord and Savior. Yes. Well, bless the name of the Amen. Lord. 
morning. He is great. I feel his presence so strongly and and I really uh, appreciate him and I know you do too. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for your prayers and your time that you give to the Lord every morning. Hallelujah. It's precious. Mm-hmm. It's precious. It's precious. Hallelujah. It's like the Lord was showing me that when we're coming into prayer and we're praying and we're crying out to him, that we're bringing material. We're bringing the building material. And I seen, like, uh, while he was showing me that, I seen, um, like, temples and prayer rooms and things being built. But when we're coming and we're using our voices and he's, he's using our voices and he's, he's praying um, through us and he's leading us in how to pray that we're bringing material. When we worship him, we're building, we're bringing building material. It is not a passive thing that we do when we pray. Oh, no. It's just not relegated to the room that you're in right now. Oh, it goes mm-hmm. out into the heavens. <laughs> it goes out into the invisible and it's building. Mm-hmm. And being formed and used into the image and the plan of God. <laughs> It's arranging and rearranging. He takes our voices. And he builds, he builds, he builds. Hallelujah. Ma <laughs> Yeah. My God, the power of prayer. Isatata, you so Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Help us to be aware. Help us to be aware. Help us to be aware, oh God. Of the power. Of how you're using the voice print. Oda basata a prayer. Irebe kola basata ta. How you take our voices? Allah, how you blend it together? Ola ola basata. Allah mosho tora basata. Thank you, Lord. In the invisible, oh God, I thank you. Um, Sister Stephanie started work today. She's been off work a very long time. Mm-hmm. Um, she has a personal injury and it. Uh, she's a bus driver and it causes her a lot of pain when she drives, but she needs to work 100 days. And when she hits that 100th day, she can retire medically. That means she'll have medical insurance for the rest of her life. So um, that's important to her and that's what she desires. And that's what she, today is day one of 100 days. Just want to mm-hmm. pray and keep her in your prayers and thoughts um, as she goes through because it's hard on her body. And then with that child care and everything that goes along with that. So um, in your private time, please keep Sister Stephanie in prayer. 
and we'll add it to the sound prayer room as well to the wall. Mm -hmm. Sister Zeno, thank you for your yes. patience, and I turn it over to you. Well, awesome. It's an awesome morning again. Uh, Sister Wilkes, uh, it's an interesting thing what the Lord has given me for this week. Uh, we don't have we we only have what three three more days here. Um, he he first gave me and I he gave it to me on Monday, and uh, I believe it's Monday or Sunday. I can't remember now, but he gave me this word and and the word was walls, mm. and. Um, and immediately what I thought of when I thought of walls was, was um, well, actually, I heard a song after the Lord gave that to me. I heard a song and it talked about um, uh, breaking down the walls. It was a you know, Christian song. And uh, but I went to look up walls in the scripture. And the only one that really pertained to the spiritual realm, because this is what the Lord's I know this is what the Lord is getting me to do. Mm -hmm. Is is in Psalms uh, eighteen, where it says um, that if we leap over a wall. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Let me find it here. Um. I'm in these in Psalms 18. I am okay. Um, for thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God wilt enlighten my darkness. Mm -hmm. We know that scripture. For by thee I have run through a troop, uh -huh. and to my God have I leaped over a wall. And so, this what? is this is in the spiritual. What, what verse is that, Sister Zeno? That's Psalms uh, 18 and 29. Okay. For, uh, for by thee, meaning the Lord, for the Lord helps this to happen. Yeah. By thee, I have run through a troop. And a troop is, a, is not just one soldier type. It's, it's many soldiers. So that to me was what a troop is. Mm -hmm. And um, it has something to do with the spiritual realm. And by my uh, by my God, have I leaped over a wall? Mm. Well, that's not breaking the wall, but that's leaping over the wall. But I couldn't find anything in the spiritual um, that was talking about that. But anyway, I I uh, went from that. I I bounce off with words. Because sometimes the Lord wants me to dig, so I'm digging, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking barriers, and I'm thinking uh, breaches. Because, you know, there's breaches in a wall, which causes trouble. So uh, from there, though, the Lord is, is wanting me to talk about the spiritual realm. And you said that the Lord is showing me I have seen temples and prayer rooms being built, building material. What we're bringing to the Lord is a building material. Mm -hmm. uh, power of prayer, you said. Then he, yeah. then he said, uh, our prayers goes out into the invisible mm -hmm. being, and it's being used. And he builds what we bring into the spiritual the, into the into the uh, the spiritual realm because when we when we're praying we enter in that place yeah so you said this all just before you turned it over to me and what that was telling me was the Lord is got me on this track of the spiritual realm and what we're doing in there oh yeah okay okay. So, I looked up scriptures, of course, and um, 
I went to um, Ezekiel. And if you, you all, I'm sure, have been in Ezekiel before. You even quoted out of Ezekiel this morning. See which one did you quote out of? Ezekiel. 36.23. That's what you, you quoted from me from that verse or to us. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start reading um, on the first chapter and the third verse. And I'll just go ahead and read. And, and uh, I got this trail going, so I'm taking you on a trail, okay? All right. Okay, so the word of the Lord came uh, expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzai, in the land of the Chaldeans, by the river Shabar, and the hand of the Lord was there upon him. Mm. So uh, this hand of the Lord was there upon him. God's getting fixing to do something with him and what he's doing here. And so uh, here we go. And I be, I looked and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud and a fire unfolding itself. And a brightness was about it and out of the midst thereof as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. And everyone had four faces, and everyone had four wings. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like the color of uh, burnished burnished brass in other words it was like they were on fire and they had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides and they four had their faces and their wings their wings were joined one to another and they turned not and when they went they went everyone straight forward as for the likeness of their faces they ain't they four had the faces of a man and the faces of a lion and on the right side and they four had the face of an ox and on the left side they four also had the face of an eagle. Thus were their faces and their wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one were joined one to another and two covered their bodies. And they went every one straight forward. Whether the spirit was to go, they went. And they turned not when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire. And like the appearance of lamps, it went up and down among the living creatures. And the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Now, as I beheld the living creatures, behold, one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. And the appearance of the wheels and their work was likened to the color of a burl. And they four had one likeness and their appearance and their work was it were a wheel in the middle of the wheel. There's a song that they sing, and they use that verse. When they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not when they went. And as for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful, and their wings were full of eyes around about them, four. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them, and when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went thither was their spirit.
to go, and the wheels were lifted up over and against them. For the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. When those went, these went, and when those stood, these stood. And when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels uh, were lifted up ever against them. For the living creature was in the wheels. Okay, just a moment. And the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creatures was as the color of the terrible crystal stretched forth over their heads above. And under the firmament were their wings straight and the one toward the other. And every one had two which covered on this side and every one had two which covered on that side their bodies. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings like the noise of great waters as the voice of the Almighty and the voice of speech as the noise of a host. When they stood, they let down their wings. And there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads. And when they stood and had let down their wings, and above the firmament that was over their heads was like the likeness of a throne, and as the appearance of a sapphire stone. And upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. And I saw as the color of amber, as the appearance of fire around about within it, from the appearance of his loins, even upward, and from the appearance of his loins, even downward. I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about it. And as the appearance of a bow that is in the cloud, in the day of rain, and I believe it's talking about the rainbow, so was the appearance of the brightness around about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spake. And then uh, Ezekiel has a lot of uh, things that the, that the Lord is, is giving to him to bring to a people, his people. Mm. I'm not, not going to go into that. But what is what is being talked about here is in this is a, this is a spiritual realm that he is that he's seeing, and he is seeing. If you if you read this, the appearance of a bow that is in the cloud in the day of a rain. So it was the appearance of the brightness around about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. My God! Now look. We go into the spiritual realm, but we don't see. We don't see all this. Mm. Now, here is one that was allowed to see it. Yeah. To see, to see at least see that. And there's more. There's a whole lot more about the spiritual realm than we are even tapping into. I mean, we're just we're just coming in. And, you know, the scripture says that we are to bring our request and make it known unto the Lord. Yeah. Our request. So we enter into this place. But if we could really see what's going on there. Oh, my, my goodness. Just think of all this description here. Yeah. This was, this was quite a description. And I couldn't take each verse and tell you anything about it because it's, it's just, it's just, it, it is what it is. It is what it says. It's yeah. describing to you something very marvelous. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so then <clears throat> the Lord had me. Um, I'm going to go regress a little bit here. We're going to go back to. Um, I'm going to go to. Well, no, let me see here. I already went to the one in uh, Psalms 18. So uh, here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to that still because I, it's talking about the spiritual realm again. Mm -hmm. And so, sister, uh, you said we go in and we're we're given God things. 
to build. We're building something in the spiritual realm. Mm-hmm. So we're we're putting we're putting things there. And uh and this is very important too to understand that when we enter into that the spiritual realm that we're bringing things in. We're bringing people in. Yes, yeah. And we're bringing their needs and we're bringing their troubles and we're asking God to work in this area. Now we when you pray we pray for Maggie. The Lord showed me something. Mm. He showed me, uh, I, I saw her taking care of her family and those that are sick. And that she's been there for them. And I saw the Lord standing on the right side of her. And he was looking over her shoulder. Mm. And he was observing what she was mm. doing. And then he, he, what he was observing was her servitude. Mm. So God is pleased with what she is doing. Yes. Now, outside of, you know, uh, we become servants when we come when we come into the family of God. We become a servant to Him. We are His ser- servants. We are His witnesses, and we declare Him. But here's a lady that's doing things, uh, and I'm not sure what her intents are, but. You know, she is, she's serving. That's the idea here. And that's what the Lord would, had given, showed me. So um, I just wanted you to understand what we're doing in the spiritual is we're yeah. doing things. And My. we're, there's something being accomplished. And it's an eternal accomplishment. It's not just a one need, God, God answers and that's it. No, there's something more to it. Yeah, something that we're doing in there that's that's pleasing unto the Lord, and we are we are doing something what you call building. We are doing something there in that area. Yes. Okay, so now I want to take you to Isaiah six, and I think you all know where that's going. That's most of us know what Isaiah six is. This is when um, I'll just go ahead and read it because it's 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 a marvelous understanding. Thing that's going on here too. It gives an insight to the spiritual realm. It says in the year that King, uh, uh, making my light over here so I can see better, Uzziah died. I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and His train filled the temple. Mm-hmm. Now, now look, yes. I'm reading to you, and I know in your mind. You're picturing this, aren't you? Yes. Okay, so this is this is what God works to us through that kind of, you know, they call it the imagination. You know, how we can we can do things in our imagination. And then then we sometimes we take what we did in our imagination and we bring it out and to reality. So God's working in that area to communicate with us so he's gonna, he's communicating to us in the spiritual realm through that area of our minds when we hear somebody tell a story we are following that story we are putting things in our mind that fits what that person is telling us yeah so god gives us things too and when we when we get that in our head what God's a picture, then, then we act. We we take that God puts it there for. He doesn't do things without a reason, and so He puts things there for us, so it can be used in this spiritual realm. Yeah, so just like uh, remember I talked about the stop signs. Yes. Well. There's whenever the Lord gives me something in my mind, yes, it stays with me. So yeah, I can picture it right now. Yeah, it's a, it's a trail. It's this little, it's this trail that keeps moving around. Yeah, and it's not a, a paved. It's a path actually. Yeah, because the color of it, 
is light. It's like walking on a pathway. And I remember praying and I, I remember putting a stop sign because I saw the enemy walking that pathway. And he, he was doing, and I, and I, I believe I said, um, I interfered because I put the stop sign there. I interfered with what the enemy was wanting to do. He wanted to go forward on that pathway. Mm -hmm. And I stopped that. So this is another thing we're doing in the spiritual. Yes. The Lord let me see that. He let yeah. me see what was happening. And and he let us he's letting us know that we are interfering yes. in the enemies. Whatever he's doing. Yeah. Okay. So here we are. I'm telling you, I'm reading this out of Isaiah. And now you're using that same area in which I'm telling you. And you're picturing it all in that one area of your mind. And this is where God wants to. This is where God comes and he does those things so that yeah. we can be successful in whatever we're praying for. Yeah. It says, above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twain, he covered his face. And with twain, he covered his feet. And with twain, he did fly. It kind of similarly, it kind of makes me think of Ezekiel, what we just read. Because mm. he's talking about, uh, he's talking about, he's given a description. Six wings with a twain. He's given a description kind of similar to the other ones that we was reading. And one cried unto another and said, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. And the whole earth is full of his glory. Now look, you and I and all of us prayer warriors, here we are. We are stepping into the spiritual realm and look at what's there. Here's some more stuff. Here's, here's these, these uh, seraphims and he gives a description of what they look like and they're there and they're crying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Oh. So we're in there and we're crying out with our our uh, needs, yes. our prayer requests, and all that's going on. You see how, you yes. see how uh, marvelous? Yes. Amen. And, and and sometimes I wonder if he's going to to this, you know, he talk if God talks to the seraphim and he goes, Hey, take a look. Mm. Look, look at my prayer warriors coming in. Aye. Look at, look at, look at, they're bringing their needs. Look at, look at, they said thank you to me. You know, I don't know what God's saying. He could be saying those things. That's just my imagination, of course. Yeah. But I'm sure he brags on us. And one cried unto another, okay, I already read that one. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. Yes. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Oh, for sorry. mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Yeah. Now see, we go in, and we walk into the spiritual realm. And we walk in with... Uh, our faith because <laughs> we're, we're not seeing all this we i mean we we are seeing it one as i read it to you from here yeah but this guy he was actually there and he was he was it, i i kind of relate it to a dream but it's not a dream because uh, it says i saw also the lord sitting upon a throne it's I as saw. if it's yeah. like a vision you know vision. so he sees it Yes. He's literally there. Yes. Oh and, he's and he's surrounded by this this um, awesomeness, you know, of, of the seraphim. And they're crying, holy, 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 the Lord uh, is the Lord of hosts. And it's shaking these posts. 
Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone. Okay, so he takes a look at himself, and he goes, ooh, I really uh, feel awkward here. And I think more than just awkward, he just felt really guilty. Uh Because he said, because I am a man of unclean lips. Uh Uh-huh. And I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. Uh Uh-huh. For mine eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. My God. Then flew, yes, and think back, you know, uh, when Moses went on top of the mountain. Yes. And the Lord said, don't tell the people not to touch the mountain, because if they do, they're going to, they're going to die. My God. And then here is Isaiah standing there. Mm, mm, and he's actually seeing the Lord, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. My goodness. Jesus. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. Now, in Revelations, there's also another another experience, but it's with our prayers. Uh-huh. I, I should have looked that up. But it's, it's when our prayers are mixed with this hot coal, I believe it is. And if somebody's got that, I'd like to have it so we could read it right now. But, but the same thing is going on. It's something to do with that hot coal. Well, see, the, the Holy Ghost is fire, right? So when we got the Holy Ghost, that's and we spoke in tongues, that was the fire oh. that cleansed our tongue. So we can be presentable to come into the spiritual realm through this Holy Ghost within us. And then in the heavenly language is the fire that cleansed our tongue so that we were be able to come in before this before God in the midst of this set this this very place that we're reading about right now mm. then flew one of the uh, okay and he laid it upon my mouth and said lo this hath touched thy lips and thine iniquity is taken away and thy sin purged what did, what did we do on the when we, we when we went to the altar and repented God took those sins away, didn't he? And then he said, I'll give you the Holy Ghost. And he, and he put the Holy Ghost within us. And speaking in other tongues. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said, Here am I, send me. Mm. So here he, had, he is in the midst of this. And, and, the, and the Lord cleansed his lips with his coals of fire. And then the Lord spoke and he said, whom shall I send? Now he, he already knew what was going to be said by Isaiah. But he presented the question of choice. Mm-hmm. And then what did Isaiah say? He was so inspired. I'll send me. I'll do it. And that's what happens when we get the Holy Ghost. The Lord wants us to, he wants to send us out. Isn't that what was said to him when he was going up? He told him, he told them to go into the upper room because he, then they would receive this power. And what would they be, be able to do? To be witnesses. And that's what we are. We are called to be a witness of, of this living God in which we go in and out of the spiritual realm, hopefully on a daily basis. That's what he wants so that we will be able to function in that day in the power of his spirit to be witnesses to whomever comes our way and, and be able to um, tell them about him. Uh, Sister Zeno? Uh-huh. Yeah. Go ahead. Could that be, um, yeah. I don't know if anyone else found anything. I found Revelations 8 4. 
um, starting with uh, verse three. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with prayers of all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out of the angel's hands. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire, with, the, with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were yes. voices, thunderings and lightnings. And okay. earth. Yes. Now think about that. Our prayers are being mixed with this fire from the altar. And then what is, what it, what is it saying? It's pouring it out upon the earth, right? Yes. So we bring the request before the Lord in the spiritual realm. Look what's happening. There's something happening when we're praying, something going on more than we realize. And then God lets it, and he pours it out upon the earth. And, and it's like lightning. And go ahead, read that part. Um, it says, um, and the angel took the center and filled it with the fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices of thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. Okay. Well, the earthquake is nothing but a movement. So I don't, I don't think it, I don't think our prayers are like causing earthquakes everywhere, but it's causing earthquakes in the request that we're making. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm, there's something moving and shaking yeah. when we're, when our prayers are being used on the earth and the lightning is nothing but the uh, uh, electrical current or a, or a, a, a life. You know, so what we're doing was we're putting life into those prayers that we're bringing before the Lord. Those we're putting the life, we're not putting it, but the spiritual realm is doing all this stuff. And, and we're moving and we're causing life to come into something that we brought before the Lord, those prayers. So when you said that we're building something, well, yeah. We're doing a lot more than what you realize what we're doing in mm -hmm. that spiritual realm because yeah. we're 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 being we're we're just bringing these requests. We're doing it through words. My God! But something actually is happening in the in there. While we're we don't realize that uh, here he's bringing these these hot coals and pouring it on this prayer. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm getting at. We're something spectacular is happening, and we're not taking all that notice into that. We're just saying we're bring, bringing prayer in. We're just talking to the Lord about something. But there's a lot going on in the spiritual realm, and I'm excited. This is exciting to me. Just to, just to read it. Uh, I didn't even write it in my book. I usually write everything, but I just couldn't write all this stuff. Mm, mm, mm. The Lord just gave it to me this morning. So here I am. I'm going to take you to another place now. Um, Daniel. And I can't even, there's more than what I'm bringing you this morning. But I'm going to read you from Daniel here. And it's the 10th uh, chapter. And the first verse I'm going to start with. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belteshazzar. And the thing was true, but the time appointed was long, and he understood the thing and had, uh, and had understanding of the vision. So here he's getting a vision. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh uh, nor wine in my mouth. No, uh, he's saying no meat, no nothing nice to drink. Neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled, mm. which is 21 my days. God, yes. 
And in the four and twenty day of the first month, as I was by the side of the great river, which is uh, Hadiko, something like that. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. And his body was also like the beryl. Now remember uh, the first one that we read of Ezekiel? Uh Uh-huh. He talked about beryl and that. And his face is the appearance of lightning. Uh And there was some, we talked about lightning in it. Yeah. And his eyes as lamps of fire. We talked about lamps. And his arms and his feet like a color to polished brass. We also read that, didn't we? Uh and the voice of his words like the voice of multitude so what he what what daniel was seeing was actually almost from ezekiel's uh experience his body also was like oh i'm sorry and i daniel alone saw the vision for the men that were with me saw not the vision but a great quaking fell upon them so that they fled to hide themselves. Therefore, I was left alone and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength in me. Oh. But my comeliness was turned into corruption, and I retained no strength. Now, now we're kind of stepping into uh, Isaiah's experience. Yes. Yet heard I the voice of the words, and when I heard the voice of his words, then was I in a deep sleep on my face, and my face toward the ground. And I, behold, a hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee. Stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken, uh, this word unto me, I stood trembling. Uh-huh. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. All right, now this verse stood out to me when I when I discovered this verse as far as paid attention because I I probably read over it but I didn't pay attention to it then one day I paid attention to it yeah and it and it says that that this um, certain man that was clothed in linen this certain man that was clothed in linen said to him thy words were heard and I come for thy words so our words are really important in the spiritual. Yes. What we're saying is powerful. And look what God did. He sent, yeah. he sent, this, uh, he sent this man in linen and had all these other colors and stuff going on. He sent it to Daniel to get the words. It was his words that he came after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So think about it. What we're doing, we are doing the same thing. We're well. We we may not be fasting for the twenty one days like he was. He didn't fast total food out. He just didn't eat pleasurable things. Mm-hmm. But whatever we're doing in that, the Lord is taking note of our words. My only, God! Not only that, but I believe God is also initiating words in us yes because he he knows what it needs to be said for a prayer to be accomplished so he actually inputs into that area of our mind a thought or a word and i've had that happen to me and it's powerful i i feel a power in that when god gives me a word because now it's coming from him what is his word his word is it's life. Its word is powerful mm. because it's coming from him. 
but but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one in 21 days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I, I am come to make thee understand what shall be all the people in the latter days, for yet the vision of is for many days. I'm going to stop on that part. Mm. Getting ready now to show... Um, the show Daniel some things that's going to happen in, in the last days, which is our days. And it's there's so much that I couldn't bring it all to you today as far as bringing it to you and reading it all to you. But you can, if you want to study more of it, you can read and see what's being said to him. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the book of Acts. There is, there is a, after I read this, there is something that Paul said, and I can't find it, so I'm going to keep looking until I do, but um, I'll read this part. It's in Acts, and then I'll tell you what that is. Acts, the second chapter, is after the Holy Ghost is being poured out, and and uh, Peter is standing up, and he is uh, lifting his voice, and he's beginning to declare. Mm. Beginning to be the witness but uh, it, on down it says but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel and it shall come to pass in the last days which says the Lord I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your son and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams and on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out on in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Okay, so now what's going on here? We're doing some stuff in the spiritual realm. We're being, God is inputting in us, and we're becoming, uh, we are going to be used in those areas. We're going to be used, um, it says young men shall see visions, and, and your old men shall dream dreams, and and upon the handmaidens and the servants, they, we're going to be uh, prophesying. And and we see that's happening. God is using us in this because now he has the Holy Ghost living inside of us. Now he can, he can personally deal uh, with us and train us. He's in a training. He's teaching us how to function in that spiritual realm. Because that's where things happen before it happens on the face of the earth. Everything goes on in the spiritual first. Now I'm going to have to stop here because I'm I see at seven thirty three. Amen. My Lord, we're onto something here in the Lord. I believe He's communicating and He's directing us. Hallelujah. In the area that he would have us go in prayer. Mm, hallelujah. And I believe that even all the scripture that he he um, is giving you, Sister Zeno, that he's laying it out for us. He's teaching us. He's showing us insight and secret. Yeah. Hallelujah. I believe so, too. I believe that. So I look he forward. He's teaching me along the way with you. <laughs> yes. It's amazing to me how he's unfolding it. Wow. We're in a, um, the place that exactly the spot that he wants us in because he's, teach he's the teacher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your divine instructions, oh God. Lord, opening our eyes to your word, O oh God, and our understanding. Hallelujah. We are humbled in your presence, O oh God. And we thank you. We honor you, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say, have your way. Thank you, God. Help us to hide your word in our heart today. Hallelujah. Help us to memorize the scripture, God, hallelujah, that it'll be so deeply embedded within us, oh God, that it'll lead us along this path of life that we're in, oh God, individually and as a whole, God. I thank you and I praise you and I honor you, God. 
In the name of Jesus, would you go before each lady as they start their day? Would you bless them, oh God, in every way that you have designed for them? Hallelujah. Would you honor them for their investment of time? In the name of Jesus, I thank you and I honor you, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah. Amen, everyone. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.